Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another quick review. This time we're going to be looking at City of Horror. It's a game from 2012, it's a zombie themed game and we're going to be looking at whether or not it's still worth your time, whether it's still worth buying, whether it's still worth playing in 2019. So we'll be back after this. Games 4K. Okay, so City of Horror is a zombie themed game. It's a backstabbing game. The designer describes it as a backstabbing game, and it's definitely a backstabbing game. So, we're going to be looking at uh, what we like, what we don't like, and then we're going to be giving you a final summary, and we're going to be looking at whether or not it's relevant in 2019. So, I mean, the theme to start with, it's, uh, it's got a wonderful theme, you know, you've got the, uh, the zombie apocalypse in, in the city with all the, the different locations, you've got the church, the bank, the armory, the water tower, the crossroads and the hospital. And uh, each location's got a different ability if you can put one of your survivors there and the survivors that you get, you get dealt with how the survivors, they've all got a special ability and uh, they're all based on typical zombie stereotypes so you've got the housewife you've got the pregnant woman you've got the granddad the little girl the secret agent and so on and so forth and uh, what you're doing on your turn you will play a location card that you are given you will all reveal them simultaneously and then you will move one of your survivors to that location but there's a there's a limited amount of space in that location and if you can't go there you go into the crossroads where there is nowhere to hide right so what you do then is that you, if a zombie attack is triggered, if there's more than a certain amount of zombies in a certain location, then the attack is triggered. And then you all vote on who you want to throw under the bus. So every character you've got in a certain location will give you one vote. And then you throw somebody under the bus and they get, they get killed. And then what happens ne next is that you, you play four turns and then you have to get in the helicopter, but you can only get in the helicopter if you've collected a vaccine. Okay, right, so that's it. That's basically how you play City of Horror. What do we like about this one? Well, the theme's really good. I mean, you know, everyone loves a bit of zombie, don't they? And in 2012, this one was, uh, it was a different class game back then. It, was, uh, it had a zombie theme, it had a backstabbing theme. So yeah, that was always good. And um, yeah, thematically, you've got the 3D uh, aspect to the board, you've got the water tower, which is always good, yeah. And um, you've got some really tense negotiation in this, you know, you, you can make up some really, really good stories uh, if, you, if you're if you imaginative enough, you're playing with imaginative people. You know, like one of our games, um, my mum had the uh, pregnant woman, and uh, my mate Gary, he could have, uh, she was begging him to save this, this poor lady's life, you know, this unborn baby. And uh, Gary decided to throw, throw her to the zombies. And we're sitting there thinking, oh my goodness, I can't believe, I can't believe you just did that, mate. I mean, how evil are you? But yeah, he, he, he threw her under the bus, and I, I, you know, every time I play this game now, I'm gonna be thinking like of Gary f f chucking an unborn a baby, a pregnant woman and her unborn baby into a pack of zombies. So yeah, you've got those little stories that you can you can make up out of this game, and um, yeah, it's, it, that's that's really really nice. You know, really enjoy that. So I mean, you got this uh, the, the fact that board shrinks it's, it stays relevant even today. I mean, because you've got that sort of battle royale video game thing, and you have Fortnite and all that. So the fact that the um, the armory explodes and uh, shrinks the board and then the water tower explodes and then that shrinks the board even further as the game progresses the map gets smaller and smaller and you get more choke points and claustrophobic so yeah that that stays relevant even today in 2019 so what don't we like about city of horror well the game don't flow that well you know we struggled with a few of the rules you know we were constantly flapping around in the rule book like think, looking for certain little tiny itty bitty rules that may or may not be in this column or that column you know we struggled with the difference between the first player and the zombie leader you know that was a bit confusing looking for the, the clarifications on that um, you know the fact that the game's icon driven it, 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 there's, there's, there's a, reams and reams of icons and they all look similar so you you can't really sort of tell what's what you know is, does that mean I move a, a zombie to this location or do I move a zombie from my location to somewhere or do I move it to my location or do I you know, they're not enough but call this you're looking through it all going like is that the one is that the one is that I can't find it I can't find it and it does your head in and it really does disrupt the flow of the game so yeah the game don't flow that well and it's a it's a pretty disappointing isn't it it ruins the immersion of the game that aspect of this one 
Yeah, I mean, some of the characters are completely useless. Like you've got the granddad, whose uh, special ability is gives him the ability to vote because he can't vote, and uh, that's a load of rubbish. And um, you know, some of the other ones, like the, the granny, they're completely useless. And it might be the case that you you draw four useless characters at the beginning of the game, and you can't do anything. You're completely at a disadvantage. And it's I know that's thematically that might be the case, but add to that the player elimination player elimination you know you might end up getting eliminated in the first turn and then you just sit, sat there doing nothing for the rest of the game and that that, that no 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 that's, that's complete rubbish I mean that really you know my mum got eliminated and my wife got eliminated and they were just sat there I mean okay it was in the last round but they were just sat there thinking right okay so I'm, I'm out of the game now what do I do so no Nah. Yeah, I mean, there's a complete lack of action cards as well. You know, we found ourselves sort of struggling to sort of find action cards to play. And then if you haven't got those, uh, if you can't pull that rabbit out of the hat when you need to, then you just sat there thinking, well, I can't do anything. I'm just going to die. So, you know, it, it, when the armory gets destroyed, if it gets destroyed quick, which is going to happen mo more often than not because everyone's playing their best cards right at the beginning of the game, yeah? Then that's the action card renewal system removed from the game. And it's like the, the game needs to have action card access, right? And then it's not there, it's taken out of the game. So that's that's not good. You know, they should have had one or the other. Well, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not a games designer, but we just found ourselves uh, bemoaning the fact that the action cards were removed, effectively removed from the game. So to summarize City of Horror, is it worth your time and attention in 2019? So I'm afraid to say that there are much better games out there. At this moment in time, you've got Dead of Winter. You've got, if you yeah, if you want a zombie theme game, you've got Dead of Winter, you've got Zombicide, right? Uh, if you want a hidden trader mechanic, or if you just like backstabbing, then you Shadows Over Camelot or um, Battlestar Galactica. It's a long, Battlestar Galactica is too long probably. Or even The Resistance, you know, that's probably a better, better one to play. But yeah, there's better games out there. Player elimination brings us way down. I mean, the fact that you could have some people sitting there for like the majority of the game twiddling their thumbs. You know, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't, I'd stop the game if that happened. If they got eliminated in say round two or three even, I'd stop the game and say, that's it, we're not doing it anymore. And um, the icon driven aspect of this game is a pain in the bum because it, you're just flapping around in cheat sheets and stuff. And you know, you spend half your time looking for the thing that you want to do. Right? If it just had it written on a card, then that would be it. But I think what they've done is try to save money by maybe print a couple of sheets in English and French and Italian or whatever. And they thought it'd be cheaper to do that than to print a set of specific cards, right? But it, it screws the game up. So sorry, ladies and gents, but we cannot recommend this in 2019. City Horror, it, whilst it is a fun game, if you don't already own it, then there's no reason to go buy this because there's better games that I do do these this stuff better, right? Yeah, like we said, Shadows Over Camelot will give you that uh, traitor mechanic, and uh, you've got uh, Dead of Winter, which will give you those difficult decisions that you've got to make through the crossroads card mechanism. So uh, it's going to be a five out of ten, or maybe a push a six out of ten if you really, really like zombies and you've been through all the other zombie games. So um, yeah, that's City of Horror. I mean, it's, it, whilst we enjoyed ourselves playing this, we had some nice memorable stories, it's not worth buying in 2019. So if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was informative, if you thought that you would like to see more stuff about board games, car games, role playing games, even game books, then please subscribe to the channel and you will see more. And that's it for today. We'll be back soon. We'll be back. And we don't know what we're going to do. Probably have a look at Food Chain Magnet or something like that. But until then, we'll see you next time.